Hey, what's going on guys? Coach Clayton with Upper Class Sports here with another video breakdown for you. So today we're going to be taking a look at Masahiro Tanaka uh, when he struck out Mike Trout in a 10 pitch at bat. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So yeah, Mike Trout. Starts him out with what looked like, I think that's his split, an 89 mile an hour splitty on the you know, low outside corner. Could have been could have been a ball, but uh, strike one. See what he comes back with. Up, oh, set up, set up, up and in. So, so that's a good pitch right there. So Mike Trout, um, it's kind of <laughs> doesn't have very many weaknesses um, but he's even said that he struggles with that pitch up and in and that's something that he's been working on um, so for Tanaka to go low and away with something a little slower and then bust him in um, that's a really good pitch so good first pitch with that splitty got a guy on first looking for a ground ball to get a double play a good splitty low and away on the outside corner um, to try to get him to drive the ball into the ground. That's a really, really good pitch. And now that pitch up and in, the pitch before it was to set that pitch up. So you got that splitty away to get him to see and kind of dive in. Let's see if he dives in with his eyes here. So yeah, you see how that front shoulder kind of goes boom, down. Obviously, he's probably taking the pitch anyways. He's notorious for taking the first pitch. But then you got... The second one. Let's see the way. Let's see. Let's see what his body does. So he just looked at a pitch away. Yeah. So he kind of had that same, and then he it, it surprised him. So you know, obviously, last second pulls out, but he was looking to dive back away, maybe looking for something on that outside corner. Didn't get it. Up and in. After you get. A pitch slow on the outside corner that 93 looks a lot faster especially when it's on that inside half okay so set up away again so so I'm curious, that was 89 again. That, I mean, his first, so his first pitch was 89. That, that one right there was 89. The first one was a split. This one doesn't look like it moves. So I don't know if this is a split. I don't know. Let me see if we can see it. No, it's not able to go in that like slow-mo. So that might be a fastball away. But it could be a split. That's a hittable pitch right there, though, especially for Mike Trout. So one, two. One, two. For me, I'm expanding the zone. Good. Good, good pitch. Going back to the split, expanding the zone. Not a strike, but that's that's too close for Trout to take. So that is a really good spot, one, two. One, two, getting that thing going from black to off. Pretty good. Expanded it even further. So he's he's he likes that split. He likes that split with Trout, so they must have had a scouting report or something. Now, I, I remember at the beginning of this video, uh, when Trout was walking up, they were saying that Trout was 5-for-5 five five the game before. So, so they might have set up and had a little bit of a game plan, a little bit different from the previous day. So going back up and in with that fastball, I'm sure. Oh, oh, he missed. You go up and you're going up and in. You can't miss back over the middle, especially to a guy like Trout. But you know, going soft, soft, 
And then going fastball, he was a little late, a little behind. Um, he might not have been totally geared up for that pitch. That's why he was able to get away with a mistake. Oh, going with the slider. So that one. So based off of that pitch before up and in that miss back over, kind of on the uh, outer third of the plate, then going with the slider that started out looking like that pitch and then off. Pretty good pitch selection. Now, I would be curious to know if he hit his spot the pitch before up and in if he would have gone to that slider or that pitch right there, or if he would have done something different, saying that Trout takes it as a ball or whatever. The things you wonder. Gosh, he's always got that look of determination in his eye, man. Not sure that's the spot he was actually going for, but. So he's going to go back to an off speed pitch. Back to that split. So we went fastball, fastball, foul ball went that slider off the plate. I think he went with another slider or a split and it was down. It landed, you could see the mark here where it landed 50 foot. Um, and now we've got the 10th pitch of the at bat. Let's see what he's gonna come with. Want something down. Got him, okay. Missed his spot but Missed his spot, but that pitch right there was was set up by two off-speed pitches. 94 miles an hour after two slow ones. I think it was 87 and 87 were the two pitches before that. That pitch jumps up there quite a bit, and especially up in the zone. That's a tough pitch to hit up and away. Um, I mean, I, I think that was a good way to attack a guy like Mike Trout. Got away with one that came back over the middle, but... I think that was a good way to attack Mike Trout is soft away, soft away, soft away, bust in to play with his eyes a little bit just to kind of get him to move his feet and then, you know, back out away, away, and then finally, you know, finished him off with something hard after two, two softies. Um, I think that's a really good, I think that's a really good approach um, to that at bat for Masahiro Tanaka. Um, yeah, he, he, you know, he had a plan, he stuck to it, and uh, he was able to succeed in the end. So let me know if you agree with the uh, pitch selection for Tanaka. Um, obviously, he won the battle, so, I mean, I'm going to have to agree. I, I like the way he approached the whole at-bat. Um, Mike Trout's definitely a hard guy to, you know, to beat, but even big leaguers fail, you know? Even big leaguers fail, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll be back soon with another video. Thanks, guys.